One person's addiction could become another person's fortune? Yes, you heard it right. There are so many folks become rich. They have identified the human consumption behavior, filled those desires, and became rich and wealthy. Here we are covering 10 latest people's addiction, where rich not only recognize, but actively capitalize and build empire on the addictive behaviors. And you'll realize that wealth creation is often a game of understanding human nature. Stay with me till the end. You may explore any business idea. Subscribe the channel for quality knowledge to become wealthy. Let's dive in. Number one, fast food addiction. The average person eats fast food one to three times a week. Now, multiply that by the millions who can't resist the convenience of a quick bite. Fast food giants like McDonald's and KFC have mastered the art of making cheap, addictive meals. The rich have invested heavily in these corporations by franchise, partnerships, or investments. Because they know no matter the economic climate, people will seek that greasy satisfaction. Whether it's the sugar highs or the salt cravings, they're cashing in on addiction. Number two, social media addiction. Every second you spend scrolling on social media, someone is profiting. The addiction to likes, shares, and comments is real and platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok know it. In fact, did you know the average person spends over 2.5 hours a day on social media? That's roughly 38 days a year. Behind the scenes, Wealthy investors pump billions into these platforms, feeding the need for instant gratification. And every time you scroll, click, or react, you're helping them turn a profit. It's genius, isn't it? At the end of the day, the rich capitalize on other people's attention. But the truth is, you can do the same if you choose to use social media with purpose. So the next time you open Instagram or YouTube, ask yourself, am I consuming or creating? That's the question that separates the wealthy from the rest. Addiction number three, video game addiction. The video game industry is now worth over $200 billion, and it's not by accident. It's designed to keep you hooked, leveling up, unlocking rewards, buying skins, or extra features. For the rich, this isn't just a hobby, it's a gold mine. They create games, invest in gaming companies, and even back addictive in-game purchases like loot boxes. It's a whole economy fueled by obsession. Virtual goods like skins, weapons, and characters have become a goldmine for the gaming industry. People are willing to pay real money for items that only exist in the digital world. Gaming is more than just a pastime. It's a billion-dollar business. While the wealthy are already profiting from the industry, there's no reason you can't get in on the action. Whether it's through streaming, content creation, or game development, the opportunities are endless. Number four. The credit card addiction. Credit card companies thrive on the addiction to spending money that people don't have. Credit card companies and banks are making billions off this addiction, profiting from the high interest rates, fees, and penalties that millions of people pay every month. From buy now, pay later, 1% to 2% cashback schemes to irresistible reward points. One of the most dangerous features of credit cards is the option to make minimum payments. The rich, who often own these financial institutions, profit from the interest payments and fees that come with irresponsible credit usage. The wealthy understand that credit card addiction keeps millions trapped in debt, paying interest that could have been invested. Control your spending, avoid unnecessary debt, and start using credit as a tool to build wealth, not destroy it. The rich profit from other people's financial mistakes. Don't let that be. Number five, shopping addiction. Shopping gives many people that dopamine rush, and companies like Amazon, eBay, and countless others know it. In fact, impulse buying makes up more than 40% of all online purchases. The rich, of course, are on the other side of that checkout button, collecting billions by offering flash sales, limited-time-only deals, and personalized ads that keep you buying more. Try to be the other side of the game. Think how can I invest or give input to make money through selling? Number six, travel addiction. Here I am not talking about the people who go occasionally for travel with family or to take break. I am talking about the addicted people who don't just travel to relax. They travel to escape to live a lifestyle they can't afford in everyday life. The wealthy know this well, which is why they've invested in luxury resorts, airlines, and exclusive travel experiences. For many, the dream vacation is an escape from reality, but for the rich, it's a steady stream of revenue. The global travel industry is projected to hit $10 trillion by 2030, 
and the wealthy will be there to collect every dollar. Now you have the data, and I know my subscribers are smart enough to understand and grab this business opportunity. Number eight, status symbol addiction. People love to show off with luxury brands and the rich take advantage from it. Let's understand this by example. For some, owning a luxury car is the ultimate status symbol, a sign that they've made it. The rich understand that people are addicted to projecting success through material possessions. They invest in high-end car brands like Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Tesla, knowing that buyers are willing to pay premium prices not just for performance. It also includes braided clothes, shoes, watches, cell phones, and so on. So, other than showing off with materialistic things, create wealth, and become financially free, make a smart decision today. Number nine gym membership and supplements addiction. The fitness industry has become more than just staying healthy. It's an obsession. From monthly gym memberships to fitness supplements, people are hooked on the idea of getting in shape. People are paying for a gym membership but barely going. Protein powders, pre-workouts, fat burners, and muscle gainers, all marketed as essentials for fitness success. But most of these products are unnecessary if you have a balanced diet. The rich capitalize on this through investments in gyms, supplement companies that promise everything from fat loss to muscle gain. In fact, the global fitness industry is worth over $96 billion, and it's all thanks to people's addiction to chasing the perfect body. By creating recurring revenue models, annual memberships, subscription-based fitness apps, and constantly marketed supplements, the wealthy profit from people's desire. Number 10. FOMO addiction. Have you ever bought something or gone somewhere just because you didn't want to miss out? That's fear of missing out and it's become a powerful tool for the wealthy to cash in. Events like Coachella, fashion shows, or exclusive travel experiences thrive on creating a sense of urgency and scarcity. The rich know that when people feel they're missing out, they're more likely to spend, even on things they don't need. And every event, every trendy experience turns into a money-making machine. So here are the 10 people's addiction fruitful to the rich. Think and let me know in the comments, which is the best industry to make money from this video or the something which I have missed. But there are many more harmful ways which I haven't covered here like alcohol, tobacco, gambling, and we are not in the favor of making money from it because money should be made by providing value and improving people's lives. The rich have simply learned to recognize patterns, solve the problem of desire, and turn it into long-term wealth. The next time you scroll, sip, or swipe, remember someone is cashing in. Will it be you? Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for more wealthy videos. Share it with someone who required this knowledge. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for joining us today. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.